Hello everyone, this is Chris from Spoon Graphics, back with another video tutorial for Adobe Photoshop. Recently I've been checking out the kinds of graphics that are associated with hydro dipping, the popular image transfer technique that is used for applying patterns to all kinds of objects, from vehicle parts to sneakers. There's a vast range of hydrographic films that are printed with detailed images that seamlessly repeat to cover a large area, from hunting camouflage to cartoon characters. Browsing those designs gave me the inspiration to try and create an intense graphic pattern of my own in Photoshop. After a lot of trial and error, I found a useful technique that allows you to quickly fill an entire canvas with randomly placed graphics. Follow along with this tutorial to learn how to create a detailed abstract pattern effect using any source image, such as a photo or illustration. I'll be creating a deer skull pattern in this tutorial, which is made up of just a single image. But stick around till the end and I'll show you how interesting pattern effects can be created by combining multiple graphics. This deer skull is a public domain image from Wikimedia, so you can download it for free. Open it in Photoshop to begin clipping it from its background. Use the crop tool to trim away the excess background from the image first of all. Then select the quick selection tool. Clicking the select subject button in the top toolbar gives you a pretty decent selection straight away. You can then zoom in and fine tune any mistakes by painting the areas it has missed, or holding ALT while painting to remove areas from the selection. Go to edit and copy, and edit and paste to place the clipped skull on its own layer, then delete the background. A useful trick to eliminate any halos around the edge of a clipped image is to go to layer, matting and defringe with a setting of 1 pixel. Go to Image and Trim to remove any excess background remaining around the image. Then Image and Image Size to resize the graphic to a more manageable size. Of course, if you're going for a high resolution print, you'll want to preserve as many pixels as possible. Save this graphic as a pattern under the Edit and Define Pattern menu option. Create a new document to begin building your pattern design. Unfortunately, this method doesn't produce a seamlessly repeating pattern image that can be tiled to cover an infinite area but it does cover an area of any size with a pattern effect with no repetition whatsoever. This means you'll need to create your canvas at your desired final size for whatever use you have in mind, whether it's a custom hydrographic film print, a cool background for a design, or a custom deer skull shower curtain. Go to Edit and Fill to fill the canvas background with black. Choose Foreground Colour from the list to use the default black foreground colour. Add a new layer, then go to Edit and Fill again. This time change the contents option to pattern and choose your newly created graphic from the patterns list. Check script, then choose random fill from the list. You'll also see other options if you want to create a more uniform pattern layout. After clicking OK you'll see the random fill options. The density controls how many instances of the graphic are placed. You can instantly fill the canvas by maxing out this figure, but interesting effects can be achieved by building up layers of patterns. Adjusting the scaling values can add some variation to the size of the duplicates. Something like 0.75 to 1 makes it quite subtle. Check the Rotate Pattern option to randomise the orientation of the elements. I'm keeping the Colour Randomness option at 0, but it could be used to create some pretty crazy psychedelic effects. Then finally, it's a shame the Brightness adjustment option both lightens and darkens the graphics. It can soon start to blow out the highlights, but adding some variation in tone enhances the pattern, so I'm using a small value of 0.2. Add a new layer and go to Edit and Fill again. Hit OK with the same settings to apply a second random spread of graphics. Continue adding layers and fill them with patterns until you fill most of the gaps left between the graphics. To speed up the process, you can incorporate some shortcuts, such as Command or Control key on Windows, Shift and N for New Layer, then Shift and F5 for Fill. When it comes to the last layer, decrease the density to 2, then reset the size and brightness adjustments. This will place a few final pieces at their normal size and appearance at the top of the pile, so they're more easily recognisable. The pattern looks quite chaotic, but a few additional tweaks can help add some definition. Double click the top layer and apply a drop shadow. Set the opacity to 100%, then use zero distance, but increase the size to form a soft outline around the images. Right click and choose copy layer style, then shift and click all the remaining layers and choose paste layer style to apply this drop shadow effect to them all. This shading dramatically improves the pattern with more depth. 
Adding a brightness and contrast adjustment layer between certain pattern layers can help incorporate some further differences in tone between the elements. Alter the brightness by various negative amounts, then click the icon to clip the adjustment layer to that specific pattern layer below it. Adding multiple adjustment layers at different values gives an even greater sense of depth as the darker layers seem to recede into the background. A quick black solid colour adjustment layer set to the soft light blending mode can boost the intensity of the graphics. Tone it down by dropping the opacity or fill value. Finally, to sharpen the details for a crisp final pattern effect, go to Layer, then hold the Option or Alt key while clicking Merge Visible to create a separate merged layer at the top of the layer stack. Go to Filter Other and High Pass. Enter a low value such as 2 pixels so you can just see the details emerging from the grey background. Set this layer's blending mode to Overlay to apply a subtle sharpening effect to the overall pattern, which helps to bring out the grain from the skull and antlers. Here's a second example using a set of free bird illustrations from Heritage Type Co. You can find a link below to all their free resources. Each one is trimmed and scaled, then saved as a pattern using the Edit and Define Pattern menu option. When building up the pattern effect, a low density of 2 is used so more layers are required to fill the canvas. Each alternating layer also uses a different bird image, which adds more variety. The same drop shadow and brightness adjustments boost the depth of the pattern, along with some rearranging of the layers to find the best layout. The result is a detailed pattern made up of flowers, birds, vines and leaves. While the pattern doesn't seamlessly repeat, instead it can be made to fill any size area with no repetition at all, which is an even better solution when working with large products such as blankets and throws. With today's print-on-demand industry, you could create different pattern styles for all kinds of products. So if you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tricks, please give the video a like to help spread the word. Subscribe to the channel to stick around for more of my content, and be sure to head over to my Spoon Graphics website to join my mailing list and download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.